Hey Internet, today's question is to Palestinians asking why does peace seem like a dirty word to them? Um, it's actually my question, I think this is the first time I've ever asked a question on my own. Uh, the reason is after years of asking Palestinians questions uh, that had the word peace in the question, uh, many would say that's too political or I don't want to talk about that. And it seemed like it was a word that would stand out for them as something they just didn't even want to give an opinion on. So I want to know why to them is peace a dirty word. Enjoy. Me, hold on. Okay, so I keep asking people about things that have to do with peace. Yeah. And people get very it's kind of like what you said. You you did before. I'm not gonna talk about that. Or politics. Why is it that when you mention the word peace, people it's like it's a dirty word? Because we we have never had the peace we have this time. We're suffering from that word, peace. Explain what that means. Like we hope to get the peace here in Palestine, mm -hmm. but as long as every day you have people who got killed, children who is getting killed every day, mm -hmm. day after day here in the news, someone, for example, in Ramallah and Bethlehem, in every Palestinian city every day there is a person who gets killed. So we don't have. Yeah, but most of those people are throwing stones at, at the army, or they're doing something which is they're has some violence to they're it. They're defending their rights in their own way. But they're doing it. it they're not. They're not carrying weapons. Doesn't matter. You know that if you know that if you go throw a stone at an army jeep, they're going to shoot you. Whether that's right or wrong is a different. Whether they're shooting is good or bad, that's a different issue. But you know you're going to do that. Uh, they see it as violence. So why then? Why do it? When, when they hear in the news that there is heard like a child who gets killed, so they are expressing their anger yeah. by throwing the stones. Yeah, but the child is killed because he's throwing stones. So how is it? So it's you not go. That he was throwing stones. What? It's not, it, it is not necessary that he was throwing stones. So what other and he what other like situations? Looking. What other situations would a child be killed? Maybe he, like he was in the wrong place in the wrong time. So he got killed. Well, what does that mean? It's describe what that means. The wrong place, the wrong time. Like, Who's killing who? Like passing through a uh, protest. Okay. Yeah. So, so he's passing a protest and how is he killed? Who's killing him? Who's killing him? Who kills him? The child. Maybe by mistake. So okay, so the child. Okay, so there's a protest, yeah. and an Israeli soldier comes up and goes bang to a kid. That's what you think happens. Sometimes, because he's in the wrong time and the wrong place. That doesn't make any sense. Soldiers don't just walk up to a person and shoot them in the head for no reason. You don't know. Yes, I do because I've been in all these protests, and that doesn't happen. No, no, you don't know. A lot, a lot, okay. A lot of Palestinians get killed because they were in the wrong time and the wrong place. Like in Bethlehem, two years ago, the student forgot his name. He was just walking in the protest. He didn't throw any stones. He just walked. He just okay, walked. and there were people there throwing stones, and so the army was shooting. Yeah. So they shoot him, and he didn't throw anything. No, I'm not saying it's. it's his, I'm not saying oh he's so bad. I'm saying you're, you're you're creating this scenario like people just walk up to people and shoot them in the face. That doesn't happen. So that's what is getting on my nerves. So I'd like you to explain when you're talking about the conflict and the struggle. What are you talking about? Can we stop questions? So some people we ask when we ask about peace, they get they get upset or mad. They say they don't they don't want to they don't want to answer. Why is peace a dirty word? Why is it it's something fantasy? It's not realistic. It's a very idealistic word. Peace is something that doesn't come in the real world. Well, countries nowadays never get peace. Why? Well, some countries do. They will never have peace. It's always going to have some problems with them. Never get in perfect peace. Ah, perfect peace, no. But some form of peace, no? Wouldn't that be some a good thing? Some form of peace, yeah, that's a good thing, but it's uh, very unlikely. Like I said before, it's very idealistic word peace. Okay. It's very hard to achieve nowadays. So okay, but what about something like Northern Ireland or South Africa? They're left alone. They, you know, they're, they're under, they're not really under occupation. It's a poor country, look at them now. The, Who? There are some countries in Africa. 
South Africa, I said. South Africa. There are some countries stable, some countries good there. It's, it's, it changes all over the world as well. Do you believe in peace? Do you think no. there should be peace? I Wait. think there should be, but I don't think we'll ever achieve it. Okay. Are you Palestinian? Yeah, I'm Palestinian. Oh, okay. I'm just checking. I'm from Australia. <laughs> okay. No, still. It's okay. But you're, wait, you live here? Yeah. Good enough. So again, you live, you believe in peace? No. Oh, in a way, yes. So what is peace to you? Equality. <laughs> Having equal rights. Freedom of movement. Being able to do what you feel like to do and also not hurting others. Okay. Now what would happen if there's a two-state solution? And this is Palestine, and up the hill from here, it's Israel. It's a different country. Yeah. Um, you would probably have to go through some kind of, like, checkpoint sort of thing, because it's a different yeah. country. It's like going to Jordan. Yeah, it is. So would that be peace? Well, the checkpoints itself? No, to having that situation. Well, the going through the checkpoints? Two, two, meaning two, two states, two countries. I don't think two states is going to ever work. If it worked, would it be peace, or would it not be no, peace? No, no, never. Why? Because it's, it can't. It's, it's like two rival countries right next to each other. They're always going to be fighting. One's always going to fight back to the other. One's always going to annoy the other. And all the other ones going to fight back. So then what's the answer? Nothing. Nothing? Just suffer? Just leave people alone. Okay. Who leaves who alone? Yeah. Uh, who leaves who alone? Both, both sides leave each other alone. So leave it as the way it is? And stop the occupation. Of what? Yeah, of what? Israel. Meaning, are we talking about meaning? What does that mean? Stop the occupation. Well, make it make it a one big country, not two state solution. Israel won't agree to that. So I know they won't agree to that. So then, what's it's the answer? That won't happen. But it's what I think is right, even though it's will never work. Well, I reckon us Palestinians never live alongside Jews. Why? Why do you reckon that? Because of the history we've had. Like a Jew nowadays, they, they don't like the Nazis, the, Jew, the Germans. You really think they like the Nazis? They don't like them. Don't like them. I don't understand. They don't like the Nazis. Oh, the Jews don't like yes. the Nazis, so therefore Palestinians won't like the Jews yes. ever because of that. But it, it's not exactly the same situation. It's not the same situation. Why not? Well, there's no concentration camps here. There's no death camps. There's no... Refugee rail camps. They're not death camps. Nobody dies in them. Yeah, but they're refugee camps. Have you seen the way they live there? You don't have to live in a refugee camp. If you're... Well, you're from the 1948, the people that... Like, well, they can, they can, they can go find a house somewhere else. They can go find the house, but it's not easy to find the house here. It's not exactly the same as putting somebody in a, in a camp where you line them up and shoot them or you starve them to death. It's not quite the same thing. It's not quite the same, yeah, I know. But it's, well, it's not, it's, it's like something, it's refugee camps. They're, it's their hometown. They'll never move out of it. They're born there. They're raised up there. Okay, but then, so, and, you, and you're saying they suffer there, like it's a horrible place. It's not a horrible, it's, you know, it's a people here, we call it in the ballad, the... The place of Bed Jar, mm -hmm. it's, it's, they see it as somewhere it's the different people. Like, no matter what happens in this world, they're never going to move out of the refugee camp. That's their problem, though, no? That's their problem. Of course, it is their problem. So, okay, so why, why is that such a horrible thing? Because the way they think, the way they've grown up as well. Mm -hmm. The way they think is. If honestly, I wouldn't mind, like, without them, there would be no Mughal throwing rocks. Mm -hmm. Without them throwing rocks, like since uh, the the start, the start when they threw rocks at each other, do you remember? Like in the Kubbe here, they chuck rocks at each other. In the area around yeah. here. Okay. Don't know. They chuck rocks yeah. at each other. And <coughs> Who is throwing rocks? Sorry. Uh, Palestinians throw rocks at the Jews. Okay. If they Palestinians, in my opinion, didn't start that from ages, a long, long time ago, we would have one country solution. That's what I reckon. So you because think if Israel would have took this land before ages ago, and there wouldn't be the time, there, there wouldn't be. The things that are happening now would be more civilized. But it wouldn't be Palestine, it would be Israel. Okay. Ah. Oh. <coughs> are you uh, I'm not clear if you see that as a good thing or a bad thing. In uh, one, uh, uh, me as a Palestinian, I think it's half half because 
it gets, it's also the same way, it gets me freedom of movement, but in a bad way because we want our, we want Palestine, it's our country. So half half. Uh, so peace isn't bad, isn't dirty. But when we first, but when we first made a peace convention with uh, with Israel, mm -hmm. so after we had a peace agreement with Israel, that's when we took a bad idea uh, about peace. Okay. Because of what the Israelis did. So we took a bad idea about the uh, word peace. So what did the Israelis do? Give an example. Okay. For example, the Palestinian side gave, uh, gave a lot of uh, compromises. The Israeli side did the exact opposite. Although the Israeli side is still saying that yes, there is peace. Of course, the, of course, as we see, we see the murdering, we see the destruction of, of Palestinians by Israelis. Yes, by the Israeli side. Okay, why do you think sometimes when I ask questions about peace, people think it's like a dirty word? People, yeah, why? Why do people do that? Maybe they, because they don't believe about it. Because they don't believe in peace? Yeah. Okay. The situation that they're, that's here, you know, they, I think that they don't believe in it. Okay. You think people here don't believe in peace? Yeah, I think. Okay. You know, do you believe in peace? Yes. Okay. Do um, you think it will happen here? I hope. I hope. I hope that it will be, you know? Okay. You know. Do you think underneath? Do you think underneath, though, really, they they want to believe in peace, but it just, the reality says no? The reality that, that in the situation, if you, if, you, if you want to say here in Bethlehem or in Jerusalem, let's say because there's a there's checkpoint yeah. between them, maybe they don't, you know, accepting that, you know, to, to get... <laughs> Well, accepting that, but uh, you know, for me, because I'm all, every day going out, in and out, and out, okay. and I'm working with, so it's hard for that they are, they don't, you know, let's say believe or. Okay, because it's difficult to get from place to place. Yeah. Okay. Even inside, you know. The West Bank. The West Bank. Shura ya kusalam. ليش لما نحكي كلمة السلام الناس تعتبرها كلمة سيئة؟ لا هم ما يعتبرش كلمة سيئة بس. We don't consider the word peace a dirty word or a bad word. الإسرائيليين فهمون أنها كلمة سيئة. But the Israelis made it clear to us that it's a bad word. سعينا كثير وراء السلام لم نحقق أي نتيجة. We have we have worked so much towards peace but we got nothing at the end. رغم كل التنازلات اللي قدمتها السلطة حتى اليوم لم نحصل على شيء. Despite all of the things that the PA has has offered and has compromised, we have received nothing. وبالعكس السلطة ملاحقة من الإسرائيلي. And 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 still. وتطلب منهم الأكثر أنهم يتنازلوا. And still the Israelis are demanding that the Palestinians compromise more and give up more. السلام كلمة جميلة. Peace is a nice word. Okay, you just don't agree with the Israeli peace. But in the but in the ما بتوافق أو. أنت ما بتوافق مع السلام الإسرائيلي يعني؟ السلام الإسرائيلي ما شروط الإسرائيليين بموضوع السلام. هو يعني يتعارض مع وجهة نظر الشخصية. Conflicts with my personal views. Which are, for example. وإيش نظرتك الشخصية؟ نظرتي الشخصية أنه خذ حقوقنا نعيش في دولة مستقلة. To take our rights and to live on our land independently and in peace. وللنا سيادة على هاي الأرض من حقنا أننا نسافر. We have we have ownership of this land. We have a right to travel to move. And he means specifically the right of return, like meaning because he said that before. So he meaning the right to all the land. معناها حق العودة وجميع الأراضي حتى 48. Yes. Okay. In my opinion, because they don't really trust this word. Why? Because of, because 
maybe because of some complicated issues. Okay. Is that it? Everything in general is, is just complicated. ليش ما حداش بده يحكي عن السلام؟ ليش ما حداش؟ كل العالم بتحب السلام وبتحكي عن السلام. So the entire world world loves peace and talks about peace. أيوة. كل إنسان بحب السلام. And every human being loves peace. فيش حدا ما بحبش السلام. There is there is no one who, who doesn't like السلام. peace. These يعني these children here want to live in peace. جمعتنا اليهود بحبوا السلام لاولادهم واحنا الفلسطينيين بنحب السلام لاولادنا just as just as the israelis our brothers the israelis uh, like peace and and want their children to live in peace we want the same thing for our children I agree. so why does he think when we ask people about peace a lot of people say no it's political i don't want to talk about it طب اوكي احنا لما نسال الناس ايش رايكم في السلام او نسالهم عن السلام بصيروا يحكوا انه لا السلام شيء سياسي بدناش نحكي عنه السلام يا ست العزيز امن لكل العالم السلام آمن لكل العالم للأمريكان لليابانيين لل... لل... للسعوديين للكوتيين كل واحد بحب إنه يبقى في البلد تبع سلام في الأردن لسوريا